What's going on there, folks? Good evening. It's the Earth Master here on this Friday night, November 25th, 2022. It is about 8.57 p.m. here along the West Coast. And the latest earthquake shows a 1.3 earthquake coming in here to the area. Looks like right around the Baja California region or right there in that vicinity. We did see a 4.1 coming up here within the last couple hours. Also some movement up and down the plate boundary here of the San Andreas Fault. And if you look up north around the northern end of the Cascadia, seen some activity as well. Let's go ahead and check this out with this 4.9 coming in just off the Vancouver Island range. Uh, 4.9, 31 kilometers deep. Now the Cascadia subduction zone uh, ends right about here. That's the northern end, just around the Queen Charlotte Sound and extends all along the Pacific coastline here off the coast of Oregon and Washington uh, and ends here in Northern California. So this is somewhat uh, of a, an earthquake that we don't really see too often in this area. Let me check out the uh, specifics of this quake. 4.9, 31 kilometers deep. Now, <clears throat> definitely historically, looks like there's been some movement further up north and that northern section up here uh, is going to be right around the plate boundary of the Pacific and the North American plate. Uh, not necessarily associated there with, well, it kind of looks like it does go into a little portion here of the Cascadia. But uh, not all that active here. If you look at the map, historical data here along the Cascadia, uh, this is a major subduction zone. The last major full rupture back in 1700. 9.0 earthquake and the subduction zones here uh this specific subduction zone normally doesn't see any foreshocks you know far as like maybe a five or six it, before the big one it just kind of comes out and goes so that's why this absence of activity here along the subduction zone it's building up strain let me tell you definitely uh building up some strain here for quite a while but this area here right across the region of the vancouver island ranges here kind of extends I'm, I'm looking at probably right about here in this area there's a little bit of uh kind of looks like a little bit of deformed areas up here with the divergent boundaries right around the seminole seamount seems like that's where a lot of activity uh, has kicked up historically but this earthquake a little bit further away from that zone into the northern end of the cascadia Let's go ahead and check out the trimmer map here tonight and see what we got for trimmer along the Cascadia currently. Zero. Nada. No epicenters whatsoever here along the Cascadia. At least that's what's being reported. Uh, no further activity throughout the Pacific Northwest. Again, it's a weekend. They don't really report anything unless it's like above a 2.5 out here. So I'm sure there's earthquake activity, just not, uh, not a whole lot showing up on the map though. Northern California, about the same. Let me go to the 2.5 here and above map. There's a, a little bit of earthquake activity we've seen throughout the day today on the San Andreas Fault. It's the creeping segment here, 2.7 and a 2.8. But the rest of the state there, most of the movement uh, has been confined to the microquake department, or, uh, very small microquakes across the southern portion of the state. Get a little swarm here into the area around the uh, Los Angeles area, the uh, concrete jungle out here. Seen a couple small microquakes, including uh, actually a 2.4 in there as well. That one uh, looks like those earthquakes coming in earlier, much earlier this morning time frame, and some uh, further activity up and down the San Jacinto fault zone. One earthquake here uh, near Julian. Just off the Elsinore Fault. And of course we got that activity. Uh, not, uh, well, let's see here. USGS not reporting that? Let me go over here again. I don't want to freeze up this earthquake globe. Seems like when I switch back and forth it kind of freezes up. But uh, a 4.1 and a 3.5 into the Baja California region. Those look somewhat, uh, somewhat newer. Uh, not for sure why they're not being reported there. Let's go here to the uh, standby for a second. Let's go to EMSC. Back out. EM 
SC model here. It's going to be a different agency reporting these quakes. Uh, and there's that 4.1 here into the Baja California region. Uh, definitely being reported, obviously. Seen some threes and fours and some other smaller quakes in that vicinity of the uh, plate boundary. Uh, but not a whole lot here from the USGS reporting. So uh, either way, definitely a little swarm of activity here. And of course, the movement up north kind of putting the crunch maybe on California. We'll watch this area closely, although nothing right now. No major unusual unrest currently happening there across the uh, southern portion of the state. Texas got some activity, of course, throughout the uh, uh, afternoon time frame. And some movement up here in Oklahoma as well. 3.2 and a 1.4. New Madrid seismic zone here looks like uh, one earthquake early this morning in the uh, Mississippi area. 1.5, 5.7 kilometers there below the surface. Not a whole lot of activity throughout the Caribbean right now. Or the uh, Middle America Trench. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, not a whole lot. They're not even really reporting anything here on the EMSC model. One 3.4 looks like off the coast there, maybe Costa Rica area. Um, pretty recent earthquake and along the Peru Chile Trench there a little spotty seen a, a pretty good uptick in activity along the South Sandwich Islands area into that subduction zone and um, uh, getting some further westward pressure movement here quite a few fours throughout the Java Trench and also into the Indonesia Islands area not a whole lot of newer movement here across New Zealand currently uh, doesn't look like a whole lot popping off there in that area. Uh, we got um, <clears throat> Solomon Islands, 5.7. That was from this morning, so really no further larger scale activity in this area. Uh, up into the Kuril Kamchatka Trench. Got one more 5.0 into the mix here earlier this afternoon. And the Aleutian Trench area. Seen a couple earthquakes earlier this morning. Right now, it almost seems like uh, well, it's kind of hard to say. We got the west coast kind of lighting up a little bit, and of course, the earthquake that just came in. This earthquake struck, uh, it's been about over an hour now, but this is a fairly recent 4.9 there uh, off the coast again into the Cascadia subduction zone. Uh, moving over here to the west, eastern Afghanistan from earlier this morning, a 4.2. And the Atlantic Ocean looks pretty calm and clear currently. Not a whole lot going on. Let's see what we got for the Big Island. Um, things not super active right now. 17 earthquakes or so. Most of them around the southeastern flank here around Pahala. And um, that's about it. Not a whole lot going on there. Along the Big Island currently 2.6 into western Montana. Nothing showing up here in Yellowstone. But hey, let's double check that and make sure. Uh, see if anything's being reported, or I should say not being reported. Looks like a little earthquake here, and a little bitty small one. This here, I believe, is the 4.9 um, off the coast here of Canada being picked up on the Yellowstone seismograph stations. Kind of looks like it. Uh... Yeah, that's got to be it. Almost looks like there was two earthquakes in that area. Uh, but as far as local seismic activity, just a handful of very small microquakes there at Yellowstone. Uh, let's see, let's go over here to the PNSN network. Again, zero tremors, but I want to check out uh, volcanic seismicity here around Mount Rainier. See if we've got any adjustments going on there at that volcano. This should show the 4.9 pretty nice, nicely on the graph. Um, I believe that's going to be it there. Just over an hour or so ago. Made that little signature there from the uh, 4.9 off the coast of Vancouver Island range. Local seismic activity, just that, all local here, very small spikes. Oh my gosh, my birds are going crazy. Can birds forecast earthquakes? I don't know. I think, I think birds just like to be very chirpy. Um, yeah, definitely some small, very small microquakes across the area here today. Uh, nothing major, but uh, as you can see, there's uh, quite a few of them. Quite a few very small microquakes in that area around Mount Rainier. Another earthquake coming into the uh, Texas area, it looks like 2.5 coming in. 
outside of Pecos, Texas. And that's uh that's about it there for the states, aside from a little bit of movement here around Denali 2.0 in Denali National Park, actually. Uh, most of the movement here throughout Cook Inlet area and outside of Anchorage, some older activity this morning. We are st starting to see a little bit of pushing, um, some northward activity further into the, um, um, the Alaska range up here, kind of towards the Brooks range. All seeing a little bit of uh, heightened activity today. Pushing up that way, um, still haven't really seen any major adjustment here to the west uh, or any large-scale activity. So we're kind of kind of in limbo currently still around the area. I uh, can't count out California seeing something uh, soon from the activity down here in Baja, California recently to, uh, well, now the 4.9 there and the northern end of the Cascadia. And I say the Cascadia because that's a very typical depth there uh, into the subduction zone, 31 kilometers deep into the uh, Cascadia subduction zone. Kind of want to see if the Earthquakes Canada map has picked this up or not. Let's see what they're reporting. Um, looks like a they're reporting the 4.8. Some other activity there in Ontario that was from yesterday. There's the current earthquake in question. They're leaving it at a 4.8. 35 kilometers deep, um, again, just off the BC region here. We'll add the plate boundary, and you guys can see here, this is going to be the um, Cascadia subduction zone on the blue line. There's a couple different blue lines here, but uh, it's going to be this one right here where the uh, hand is kind of hovering over. And the in... Uh, inward depth there of 30, what was it, 31, 33 kilometers deep. Definitely a subduction zone earthquake. So, a little bit of activity kicking up there. That is for sure. Um, let's see here. I think that is about it. Latest notification. We're going to check out the Mona Loa here uh, with the HVO folks and see... Uh, what they're putting out this morning. Of course, Kilauea Volcano still continues. Mauna Loa currently not erupting. It looks like 38 small magnitude earthquakes over the last 24 hours below 3.0. Uh, no major adjustments. No major changes there. It still stands at advisory in yellow. Um, and we're just kind of monitoring it, seeing uh, where it goes from here could continue this little off and on swarming for a little while uh, or completely stop or it could definitely ramp up so we'll continue to monitor that solarham.net here the solar weather website shows uh, current conditions out here which are pretty green across the board no major unrest currently uh, we did have a little bit of heightened KP index here around the 4 range from a uh, unexpected CME probably from one of the uh, sunspots here over the last few days that sparked off some sea flares uh, probably po popped off a uh, little CME earth directed nothing major current look at the solar flare or the solar sunspot activity shows declining conditions all these uh, magnetic structures here the fields look pretty stable and there's not a lot of hope <laughs> far as seeing any uh, major flares from those Looks like only a 40% chance for a sea flare, 5% chance for an M flare, and less than that for any others out there. Uh, coronal hole activity. Looks like we do have a couple. Um, 51 coming up. Uh, 48. Looks like it has grown a little bit here in the last day or so. And it's possible that may be uh, what was uh, kicking up the uh, solar weather activity uh, earlier today. 50 down here on the bottom won't be geo effective, but uh, we'll keep an eye here on 51 as it advances towards our earth directed region. And uh, we'll just go from there and see if, uh, see how it plays out. Alrighty folks, have a good night. I'm going to jump off here. I'm pretty tired. Uh, definitely feeling pretty tired today. Uh, I know eating turkey will def definitely do that. So maybe that's kind of what I'm feeling here, just the uh, 
the uh, sleepy effects, natural sleepy effects of some uh, turkey. Alrighty, folks, stay safe, be prepared, and um, you know, a couple. As I noted here, there's definitely a couple regions uh, to watch for for further advancement or um, you know the activity, pressure activity out here. I'm still kind of waiting on some further movement here across the Western Pacific, uh, but also at the same time here with the movement here along the West Coast includes the North American plate can't really count out uh, you know possibly seeing some further quakes here along the west coast so we'll definitely watch that and keep an eye on it see how it plays out have a good night folks we'll catch you guys tomorrow sometime peace out